What's up YouTube? Back with another, you know, motivation video. Appreciate all the support, all the likes. Well, everybody, you know, just be, you know, giving their stories, be commenting how they feel about it and everything. And I really do appreciate it. it keep me motivated. It keep me wanting to post some more and more of just, you know, just talking and helping different people in different situations. So um, I really do appreciate that. Love starting a video off. Just thanking y'all and thanking the comments. And um, and I just appreciate it. You know, this one I was talking, want to talk about, as y'all see in the title, is, you know, just uh, having suicidal thoughts. I'm not having it right now, but when I was younger, I remember, man, it was like, you know, just growing up in poverty, just growing up, like, in the situations you grow up in, you know, you be, you know, sometimes ask God, like, why? Like, you know, I remember days, me and my brother, you know, then eat. I remember we be had we, we we was having dirty clothes, like sharing clothes, sharing drawers, like wasn't man, look. We was so dirty that um I like God bless their hearts, man. Our teachers bought us coats, bought us clothes. It was just, you know, our parents was on drugs at the time and, you know, that wasn't in their right mind. So you can't blame them. I mean, you know, everything make you who you are today. But um yeah, man, I remember just growing up, it was tough as kids, bro. We was tough, bro. And um, it was hard. Then um, I remember, like, uh, my mama went to prison and stuff like that. We was living with our grandparents. And um, it was like, I don't know why, but it was like always when I was like a young little, <laughs> always when I was a kid, it was just people always used to pick on my size because I was small, skinny, like, I was so small for my age, bro. People wasn't believing it, bro. I was really like 50 pounds, 50. People was 100 pounds already, like, I don't know. It was just, I was just so small and skinny, you know, people want to pick on you because you think you can't, you know, fight, you small, you vulnerable, or stuff like that. But, um, yeah, man, and um, I just remember doing that. I mean, growing up from that and, uh, you know, it's just like, Sometimes you can think like you're back against the wall, like everybody against you. Like I, I had anger problems growing up. Um, I just used to fight, bro. Used to fight everybody. Like any, I was just bad, bro. I just had like a whole bunch of anger built up from. I don't even know, man. Probably just because, like, my life was growing up bad or something. Like, I'm still trying to figure out now, but, um, like, why I was like that when I was younger. But, um, yeah, I just think it was because, like, oh, I, it was just because I think nobody, like, really didn't believe in me, bro. Like, when people see me, like, they always thought lesser of me or, like, I couldn't read like that growing up. People, you know, just people want to pick on you or even your, you know, um, family members or stuff like that would think less of you or something like that. I ain't saying mine, but, um, you know, just certain situations. And I just felt like my back against the wall and, like, nobody really, like, you know, took the time to understand me or stuff like that, me growing up as a kid or didn't really have the appearance so, you know, I really didn't have nobody really to talk to growing up as a kid. So it was hard for me to express my feelings and, um, like, you just, your feelings just get balled up inside. And um, then it's like, you be thinking in your head, like, dang, why am I living? Like, nobody cares about me. Like, I'm, like, we was, the crazy part is, bro, we was living in a big house and, everything but that that don't matter bro like just in your certain situation like our grandparents had a big house in crown point and um i remember we was at church or something and um i don't know what the situation was but i remember i yelled out to my grandma like oh i want to kill myself and i want to do that like some like stuff like that i remember that vividly then in that moment, like second later, like God just told me snap out of it, like don't say that. Like it was just like I heard it. Then 
after that, I went, it's crazy because it's like I went from crying, like I got in trouble for something, but I went from crying to like not crying and to like, dang, I just like got smacked in reality or something like, like that. But, you know, you growing up, if you feel like in that certain situation as, as I'm explaining and you know, you young, you know, whoever watching this and um, I say, you know, my problem was I didn't have nothing to like, you know, cope with. Like, um, you gotta express your feelings, man. You gotta, you know, have somebody to talk to. I never had I had nobody to talk to, or it ain't that. It just I was not willing to, you know, talk to somebody, or, you know, I just used to take my anger out on my brothers, uh, everybody's sister, and I used to fight people like in school, throw bricks, everything, bro. Like. I used to get mad so fast, bro. So fast, like my mama can even tell you. But I just used to wake up with attitudes. Just, I man, like I don't know why I was doing it, but um, it's crazy. But um, having suicidal thoughts, man. I just had that like one time, and that moment, I'm like, yeah, I gotta snap out of that, like because I really do believe, like what you say and what you put out really can come true man because you know words is very powerful and um that's why i be you know watching what i say you know um being very careful what you say and what you thinking in your head too as well because that's powerful too if you're thinking it in your head it can be one moment or something can happen and you can say it out loud so um when you got those negative thoughts or anything you want to hurt yourself or anything you know um Go do something, like find something to do, get your mind off of it, talk to somebody because I didn't have nobody to talk to and um it was hard but um you know I'm glad I was in church and I think that's what kept me like sane, that's what kept me um on the right path and you know, just learning more and just being open. Like as a kid you can't be so caught up in, you know, social media. You can't be so caught up in um, what's viral, what's new, like what's the trend, like because if if that was the case, I would never be like we was, you know, um, forced to go to church. But I didn't have to be open to learning. I didn't have to be, you know, wanting to learn more about God or anything situation like that. I chose to wanting to know more wanting to uh just better myself so um be open be your own man you know direct your own path and um once you have those thoughts man those thoughts to go away and build a relationship with god build a relationship with a person you can trust or talk to man it's okay to have a therapist i mean my mama always used to tell me bro tell me you want a therapist you want to have a therapist you want a therapist like she used to always tell me i don't know it was just I just felt so alone as me growing up, man. I just didn't feel like nobody understand me. I just felt like people never believed in me, bro. And that really took a toll on me growing up. That really like, ah, like it hurts bad. Like you just don't believe nobody. But then once, you know, you YouTube and you know, you, I remember one of my family members was like, Dang, Tim, how do it feel that you really accomplished your goals and like uh, we didn't believe in you? I mean, not like not like we didn't, but like it was like it wasn't like she didn't say it was we didn't believe in you, but she was like um, it was something like that. But I forgot the exact words, but it was like when she said that, that like hit me. It was like dang. Like, only if you knew the amount of hours I put in. Only if you knew, like, just all the the nights I had to fight myself mentally to keep on going. Like, when you don't see a way, once you just want to be, like, just forget it. Like, you know, it's, just, it's hard, bro. That's why it's only a small percent of people that, you know, really who want their dreams and achieve it because it's hard bro and a lot of people don't got that you know but you everybody can get it 
It's just if you really want it bad enough, man. And, um, you know, man, I'm just a living, you know, testimony, living proof that those thoughts don't have to, you know, you don't let, you don't have to let those thoughts, you know, um, control your life. You can surpass anything. You want to be anything in life, man. You just got to really believe it and, and lock in with yourself, man. And don't let people, you know, comment. Don't let people words um don't let that discourage you and uh because you know there's a lot of times people saying why are you doing that get a real job um you ain't gonna be i mean a lot of stuff man a lot of stuff bro a lot of stuff man and uh you gotta think once you're the only person like i was the only person in my family like around me or anything that started some youtube or something like that so they looking at you crazy. What are you, what are you doing? What are you, like school, friends, anybody? Like you, I'm posting. Hey, go watch my video. You get one like. I post my videos now, hundreds of likes. And you know, you gotta really see. People don't believe you at the beginning, but once they see you there, man, they, everybody gonna wanna you know hop on that train and try to congratulate you. But only if people knew, you know, you gotta you gotta sacrifice, man. You have to sacrifice. You got to lock in and be yourself. I think that is really one of the only ways you can just, you know, just be successful, man. Just be yourself. There's so many people in this world that just not their selves. They just want to follow trends. They just want to smoke, drink, party every weekend and do stuff just because they see other people do it. Oh, I'm going to do it because it looks fun. So I'm doing it. Uh, uh, uh. Like, bro. You not there. You not where you want to be at. So you shouldn't even be partying every weekend, having fun, getting sloppy drunk, and all this. Come on, you gotta lock in, bro. You have to lock. We don't got a lot of time on this earth to be playing around. So man, I just encourage the younger generation to to um to be your own man, bro. I be I was I be trying to tell my little brother, man. You know, just be yourself. Don't follow the waves don't you know it's a lot of scamming these days and everybody wants the quickest buck everybody wants come on man like you don't got to do that just to get the quickest money man just work for it and and, and you'll get it in the long run i'm just saying to, in general i ain't saying nobody's scamming or anything like that but uh, i'm just saying in general because you know everybody wants the fast money but uh yeah man once you you know, um, just lock in with yourself, find peace, man, find peace, find your inner peace, and, um, really sit down, bro, like, one thing that I can say helped me was, like, I just sit down with myself and just in the bed, just thinking, bro, thinking positivities, like, thinking positive and saying positive, like, I'ma do this, I'ma be that, that's why I got the paper on my, on my wall, man, just positive, looking at that, man, and just, achieving my goals bro really just achieving my goals and really trying to be you know destined for uh greatness but um you know it's not easy and nobody perfect so it's not gonna all happen like this man and you gotta you gotta work on i'm still working on my goals right now man and um just if you have those thoughts man just you know find somebody to talk to please and um you know it's it's hard it's hard. I ain't gonna tell you a lot. I'm not gonna tell you it's gonna be easy. I'm not gonna tell you oh, uh, uh, if you do this and that, oh, you're gonna have to do it against it. No, it's not gonna be that easy, man. And um, life, God didn't make it that way. So uh, just wanted to tell y'all that like, give you some more, you know, motivation and um, just tell you that, you know, I've been there before and um, you ain't the only one if you're going through it and uh. If you got any questions or you want to ask me or how I did it or how, what, you know, any certain things I didn't hit on in this video or you want a, a part two, just comment it down below and I will. But, um, you know, you're not alone and uh, we're going to get through this together. Appreciate the fan love support y'all been showing. Like, subscribe if y'all new. Appreciate y'all, man. Peace and love.